What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Mattel WWE Battle Pack 40 Stone Cold Steve Austin vs. Mr. McMahon. It is an Ultra Zilla Toys main event where we talk about some wrestling while reviewing a wrestling figure. What we're going to talk about today is not really about the Attitude Error or anything like that. But Raw 25 is this Monday, the 25th anniversary of Raw. It's going to be huge. Stone Cold will be there. Mr. McMahon obviously will be there. Um, so I figured this was a good little set to do this week. And I'll reminisce a little bit. Love the feud way back then. Very, very cool. It'd be awesome if they did like a skit together. That would be kind of neat, you know, this week. What would you like to see from Raw 25? You know, there's so many things that can happen, so many ways that we could go. Royal Rumble is only a week away, so that is pretty awesome. Um, we'll talk about, you know, Royal Rumble more a little bit next week. So, uh, but if you want to talk about it now, feel free to comment in the comments. Talk about anything you want about wrestling. You know, I'm hoping to foster a little bit of conversation outside of the normal figures, but talk about the figures as well. So let's look at these guys. This is a uh, Battle Pack 40. Um, these are basic figures that come in the Battle Packs. So you got Mr. McMahon and Stone, and Stone Cold here. Pick these up at uh, Ringside Collectibles during their big Black Friday sale. Really, really cheap, like under 10 bucks for the two of them. That was insane. So, really happy about that. They come with a couple of barbells. And I don't recall if there was something in the storyline uh, with these at this moment. Um, please. I've had quite a week, so <laughs> didn't have a chance to look them up. I'm really in the studio fleeting on this Saturday night to film a couple of videos and then get back up to the family. So, barbells. Let me know. Um, I would fit them in their hands, but this hand doesn't hold it too well. And these have these gripping hands that you really have to heat up a little bit to get in there. But let's take a look at the figures themselves. Uh, I'm going to start on articulation because they're basic figures. So you see nothing in the waist here. It just has a waist swivel. Heads on a ball joint. Moves like that. Hand swivel for the shoulder. Swivel at the bicep. Single jointed elbow hinge swivel at the wrist just a swivel at the hip single jointed knee um, and stone coal has uh, oh, I thought they were hinged but then oh, they are hinged a little bit of a little soft plastic hinge on the the boot there boot cut as I was saying there and a hinge at the ankle I believe Mr. McMahon will probably have all the same but let's go over it head is on a ball joint. Ooh, very tight swivel shoulder there and the hinge. Swivel bicep, single jointed elbow, swivel hinge, waist, thigh, single jointed knee. Uh, you see, no boot cut, so it is different. There you go. And he actually can rotate his foot. How about that? Really no um, no real hinge there that I could notice, but he can rotate the foot. So it is a little different. So there you go. All right, you know what? Let's keep Mr. McMahon here. That's a pretty good likeness, I got to say. <laughs> um, for a non-digital tech take on Mr. McMahon, that is pretty, pretty good. No doubt about it. I like that the hair is black but not perfectly black so it's kind of like it's going gray i don't know how well that camera picks it up but in person you could tell it's very matte um but the face so f facial features are rather good and teeth are painted well the eyes look good the uh, eyebrows look good and just like all the little folds and stuff in his face is perfect the shape is very very nice i think he did a good job <laughs> with this basic figure so i always say that i always like um how they treat the basic figures i think they come out decently. He's got on his like typical Mr. McMahon black suit that he kind of wore when he he fought to strut and show off his uh, his muscles here. And the uh, the muscles look pretty good, gotta say. Not so bad. No shading or anything in them, but they look good. 
the little wristbands there. His belt is uh, painted nicely, so... And the folds in his pants all look fine. So it's a decent look for Mystic McMahon all together. Little boots look all right. I, I actually really dig it. I, I think he fares pretty good. A lot better than Stone Cold does, I <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I, but you know what? The Stone Cold face, it's very, very cartoony, um, and it's a bit off, but it isn't so bad. I mean, it's not so great, but it's not so bad. He's lacking in eyebrows completely. I'm pretty sure Stone Cold has some eyebrows. Um, goatee's painted all right, and the eyes are painted fine. I mean, when you look at him from profile, yeah, that looks pretty Stone Cold-ish, but straight ahead, not so much. Body looks pretty good, uh, well-defined. Arms look pretty good. So, and they're not the same. Different different sculpts there, so that's pretty good. Uh, we saw the soft plastic knee braces before, and uh, they've done pretty well, I gotta say. He does have his uh, Texas tattoo here, and Mattel always does a really good job with the tampo printing, so, you know, obviously that's gonna be good, and it is. It's very, very nice. No, nothing on his trunks, just black. But otherwise, pretty good sculpt. You know, his knees look a little knock knee, but you know, Stone Cold had messed up knees. Uh, I do like that uh, Mystic Man is bigger than Stone Cold. That's that's true to life. So that's pretty good. And hey, you know what else uh, do you want from this pack? It's not bad, especially for the price. I'm really glad I paid for what I did. You know, when most of these. Mattel uh, WWE figures. I've been trying to get them on discounts. Love WWE, love wrestling. But, you know, I, if I could get them on discounts, uh, I'm not one that needs to get any of these uh, right away. So if I wait for some sort of price drop, a sale, all about it. But anywho, pretty cool figures. Not so bad at all. Really looking forward to Raw 25. I don't know what else is going to happen. It could be a number of things. We got the IC title match. That should be pretty good. Roman Reigns has had some really, really good matches lately. He's been on a, a pretty good roll. The Miz is the Miz. Sometimes he's really good in the ring. Sometimes he's a little boring, but he's been solid as a character. So, and then we got to see what happens. Uh, the Revival, who I kicked off this Ultrazilla Toys main event uh, time slot with. Um, I think they're going to... I hope not, but last week on Raw seemed like they were going <laughs> to get their butts handed it to them by a lot of legends. Uh, so they called a bunch of them out, kind of like the Ascension did. Hope that doesn't happen because the Revival is not the Ascension. They're very, very good. If WWE, you know, throws them under the bus, that's a detriment to them and very, very bad booking. Let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts on the figures. Anything else you want to talk about, I am here to talk about it. So that's all I got. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.